Good morning, Evan. Today is Tuesday, January 24th, 2012. I'm greeting you from my dorm room. So it's definitely started snowing, and although it's not snowing right now, it's really, really sunny. It's strange. There's like not a cloud in the sky. The snow is definitely still out because it's balls-ass cold. Not as balls-ass cold as it was previously, though, so don't even worry. This is what it looks like outside. I'm really warm right now because this radiator down here is incredibly powerful and likes to show off and get really hot. So we kind of perpetually have to have our windows partially open. Uh, I definitely noticed that you did not make a video last week or the week before. I completely understand that and I know that you're very busy. However, I would love to see your smiling face because I miss you. In other news, I believe I'm wearing the same shirt as I wore last vlog. Now, I uploaded the last vlog on Tuesday and even watched it on YouTube. Then, as I went back to check if it was still there, it wasn't. It was like phantom vlog. It was very strange. So, I re-uploaded it on Thursday and it was up by like really early, early Friday in the morning. My classes are going well. I'm finding them a little more engaging than I did last semester, and I hope this trend continues. I went to my very first, like, actual big time, real college party. It was at Zykai, a fraternity, and everyone dressed up as pirates. I was a pirate. I look kind of like a cross between a gypsy and a pirate, though, because my scarves didn't really look that piratey, but who cares? I was on the dance floor and I was kind of dancing. I was kind of overwhelmed by the extreme sensory experience of it all because like I would wave my hand like this just at a normal pace and the strobe lights would like flash and hit it so it looked like I was in some kind of stop motion thing and like so many people dancing around me and the music was so loud. I'm like, wow. This guy comes up to me and he's like, hey, do you want to dance? And I'm like, sure. And I start going like this. And I guess that wasn't the kind of dancing he meant because he grabs me on my hips, turns me around, bends me over and starts humping my butt. So I turn around and in what I think is a very polite voice, I say, I don't dance that way. He kept apologizing and saying he was really drunk and I said, no, it's fine. I just don't partake in those activities, but I'm not judging you, even though I kind of was. Evan, it's Shark Week. And I know that you know that Shark Week isn't the week where Discovery Channel freaks out and plays a lot of shark videos. I mean, it's the period of time in which I continually bleed from a hole. So a bunch of friends and I had this secret Santa thing where we like drew a name out of a hat and then we were supposed to like get a gift as like around ten dollars for that person and then like after winter break we just gave them the gifts and it was really a lot of fun and I got that's right a Hedwig mug from the Wizarding World of Harry Potter my dear friend Mike for whom I've established a fan club although we don't really do anything in it but it's there he went there over winter break and out of the goodness of his heart bought me the coolest mug ever when I opened it up it's really hard to explain how much enthusiasm was like inside of me. It was a lot. So the last topic for this vlog is something that I'm really excited about. Right around when school lets out, which is mid-May, I'm going to go to Spain for six weeks and I'm going to farm there at a local organic farm. Probably working with animals and maybe just like planting and maintaining stuff. I am so excited. Also for the last two-ish weeks, I'm going to be meeting up with Hiroshi and we're going to farm together. I don't think I told you this over the phone or anything, so this might be a really big surprise for you, but it's officially happening. Note this, Evan. The website called Student Universe is a body of lies. There is a ticket, this elusive ticket, that for round trip to Madrid from Portland was $903, including all taxes and fees. And I kept like trying to sign up for it, and every time it couldn't put it in my cart. So anyway, it's an infuriating website that tantalizes you. Speaking of the word tantalizing, today I found out its origin. It's Greek. It's named after the Greek god Tantalus, who was like this really big king and the son of some other god. Maybe it was Zeus? I didn't remember. Tantalus one time like had this really big feast and he loved food and he made all these fancy dishes but then he killed one of his own sons and like sliced him up and put him in some of the dishes to try to see if his guests could tell they were eating human. I don't know why. He got punished and sent to Hades and his punishment in Hades was always seeing delicious food right in front of him but as soon as he went to grab it, it disappeared. So he was tantalized. We are Pac. Posies or quilts. Ding. We are Pac. Posies or quilts. Ding. 